Hello, fellow Eva Green fans, or my fans, which are few in number, but you exist. <laughs> you may have clicked on this video wondering, Eva Green Month, who is that? Well, Eva Green is a French actress. Yes, French. Who I've loved for the past... Uh, Dang it. When did Dark Shadows come out? 2012. What is Eva Green Month, you may be wondering. Eva Green Month is the month I decide to watch every single Eva Green movie again. And you may be wondering, why December? Well, good question, for it is a green Christmas. In all actuality, it is because I get most of her work. I got Penny Dreadful, Camelot, a bunch of her movies around Christmas. So I've always kind of associated the month of December and Christmas with Eva Green. It just kind of has worked out that way. So back to what Eva Green Month is. Well, I'm glad you asked. Eva Green Month will involve me watching every single Eva Green movie again, except for Casino, not Casino Royale. I'm watching that one again. <laughs> Kingdom of Heaven, because I just watched the extended cut, and I I know what I want to say about that one, and The Salvation, because it was good, but I, I couldn't get really into it. Okay, my cat. No. No licky. None. So basically, what will happen in Eva Green Month is I will watch every single Eva Green film again. Hopefully you guys will join me in that. And then I will do a review, more or less a short four minute discussion about the movie and what I thought about it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, the goal is that more Eva Green fans will come in and we can talk about each of the movies and what we love about Eva Green and personal reasons and all that good stuff. Out of the way for why I love Eva Green, it's because she's... I've I've always wanted to be into the drama, so it's either directing or acting or whatnot, but as an actor, or hoping to be an actor, I'm not officially one yet, uh, she's taught me a lot, especially the biggest thing is always show your emotion through your eyes, which is something I, even a lot of big actors don't do, which is interesting that she does it, and she's very, very unknown. So the only things I'm a bit unsure about, I wanted to ask you guys to see if anyone has any opinions on this as of yet. Uh, would you want me to do commentaries? I've never seen, because this month, I've never seen our... I'm going to say this wrong because it's French. Arsene de Lupin, I believe, or Arsene Lupin, whatever. It was her second movie, and it's only in French. I have never seen it, and I've never seen The Golden Compass, because... Uh, uh. So would you guys want me to do a uh, live commentary, or do you just want me to do kind of a highlight commentary so I record myself watching the movie, uh, so I would be interested to see what you guys have to say. I hope, I hope you will because I think that would be fun to sit down and just have this movie playing and just talking about it and whatnot. Again, back to the reviews. Woo -woo. So December first, I'll be watching the Dreamers and then hopefully I'll be having, I'll be writing up notes, notes, taking this professionally this time. I'll be writing notes throughout the movie, and um, then I'll bring them up to the camera and just throw at you all these notes. Not literally because I don't want to break my camera. It costs me nothing, but I will get yelled at. So I hope you do come back, and I hope you are looking forward to Eva Green Month as much as I am. If you have extra free time in your hands, I don't because I have to work, so I can't do them. Definitely watch the shows as well. But we will begin, like I keep saying, with the Dreamers, and we'll end with Miss Paragon's Home for Peculiar Children, which comes out this month for me. I don't know when it comes out for everyone else, but it comes out this month in Canada. So I'll see you then, and I hope you enjoy talking about Eva Green and her movies this month. Farewell for now. Why did I do that?